Hi everyone. Okay, I had to stop and start the video again. Um, I'm trying to, I can't get the shimmer to show up in this, in this sample. So just, uh, uh, just to say quickly again, um, hello Margaret. I'm reviewing, um, Margaret's, uh, handcrafted watercolor paints from Xanadu Art Studio. And, um, because I paint, uh, people and faces and I, when I saw the luminous flesh one, I, I, I just about, I squealed and I was so excited to try it that I ended up, I tried it right away, but it's gorgeous. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. If you do any painting of people, you have got to try this luminous flesh. And I tried everything to, so that the camera could pick up on the sparkly glow and I just can't seem to, to get it to do it. And I had put this little swatch down of the luminous, luminous flesh. And from where I'm sitting, you can see lots of sparkles, but even I tried to, bring the camera closer and it didn't pick it up. But once I do all these swatches, I'm going to take down the camera and I'm going to go really close to where this light is shining on and hopefully you'll see it a little bit better. But um, the paint oh, is absolutely gorgeous. Margaret, you, it's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to lay a little bit more of it down here um, just so that when it dries we can see it more. Uh, so this is the Luminous Flesh, and I'm using um, a size 10 Princeton Neptune brush. Um, oh, my God. I got a special tin container, Margaret, for just your paints. So that whenever I buy them or get some from you, this is where I'm going to keep them. I'm going to make a little stacking box in there for them. But uh, I absolutely, absolutely will be buying more of your Luminous, luminous Flesh. It's gorgeous. So um, next I'm going to move on to the metallic silver violet. I've never tried any handmade um, watercolors before, so I'm just so thrilled about this. It's gorgeous. So this is the me metallic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so beautiful. Wow. Wow. It's so shimmery. Oh, my Lord. I think I'm using a brush that holds too much water for these, but I'll just, I'll, I'll trade in a minute. Oh my God. So pretty. Holy man. Okay. So that's gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to try, I'm going to use this uh, small quill from, this is from Jackson's Art Supply. I love quill pens. So I mean quill brushes and this is a nice little one. So I'm going to try this. This is Trolls Fur. Love that name, by the way. So let me just get some on here. And let's do, oh my gosh. Oh, look at the depth in that. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Margaret, it's just beautiful. Hopefully it shows on the camera really well. I'm gonna bring the camera down after to show you. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, so next is going to be Toadstool. You're going to probably hear me say that's beautiful a lot of times. I'm just blown away. I'm just actually blown away by handcrafted watercolor. I, I never knew it could be so beautiful. That's really pretty. Ooh, I love that green. That's a, that's a unique green. For anybody who... I just I can't get over the depth. If you do the little crisscross... You see the depth in the, in the watercolor. And boy, oh boy, there's a lot of, there's nice granulars in there too. That's really nice. Okay, so next, this, these ones I have to open. This is called Wilderness. Oh gosh, I should have unlocked them before I started the video. So this is called Wilderness. Let me get it out. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, this has a shimmer in it too. So let's see. Water up my brush. Usually I spray all of my pans first before I use them just to get them activated. But 
This is, oh, good Lord. It's just beautiful. Wow. I'm just, I'm almost speechless. Um, I'll put these back in the packages after because it's going to take a while. So, and the next one is Gold Rush. So I think a lot of these are have the shimmer in it. And are, is it ever pretty? Oh, come on, Donna. Margaret, you make good watercolors. Reminds me of Mr. Christie. You make good cookies. Okay, um, some water on here. Ooh, look at that. Gold Rush. Hmm. This activated. We don't use gold colors too much, but now well, let's see what we get here. Oh, wow. It's very translucent. It'd be great for highlighting, wouldn't it? Very pretty. Got a lot of water in there. Oof, is it ever shimmery? It's so pretty. That would be just wonderful to highlight. Okay, so that dry a little bit. Actually, while it's drying, I'm going to just take down my camera and see if I can show you the how it shimmers. So hopefully you can see that. I just love that luminous, luminous flesh. It is simply absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then let's go here. Troll's fur and toadstool. That's gorgeous. They're both beautiful. That toadstool is, is a really unique green. I love that. I have to get better lighting. I'm so sorry. And then this here, wilderness. See this, the sparkle in it? That's beautiful. These colors are gorgeous. The gold rush I would definitely use for highlighting. And I've already used this luminous flesh for, uh, I'll show you a sample there in a minute. Oh my God, they're so pretty, Margaret. You did a beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, I'm just going to try and get this back in place here, if I can. Okay, so let's, uh, and here's your card. There's uh, Margaret's uh, website to go to to shop for her watercolors. Oh, you definitely have to get some. Oh my God, if you don't, you don't know what you're missing. Okay, so put that back there. So next we're going to have... Um, Cobalt Turquoise Deep. So this ought to be interesting. Oh, jeepers. Why didn't I open these before? Oh. Come on, Donna. Oh, good Lord. Come on. There we go. Okay, so is this another shimmer one? Let me see. I'm not sure. Nope, I don't think so. Okay, so let's... Cobalt Turquoise Deep. Ugh, I use lots of turquoise. So I'm anxious to try this one. Okay, wow. Looks a nice rich color. Oh, maybe there is a little bit of shimmer in it. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me just put a little layer again up here. So nice. Oh my gosh. Margaret, you're beautiful. Oh, okay, I better leave this on the top because I won't remember that one's not marked. Oof. So nice. So nice. Okay, now this one's called Magic. I love the I love what you're calling them. <laughs> it's good names. With all the paints you make, you must have a hard time. Finding new names, or maybe it just they just come to you. You see them when you're making them. So this here is called Magic. It's oh my god, it's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant blue. 
oh god it's not even what i thought it was it's pretty oh my god it's like um it's almost like a rich denim blue that's pretty oh margaret you do such a good job wow who would have known that i would have never known that handmade watercolors were just so beautiful wow wow you, whoever is watching this you have got to order some of hers and just try it even if you order one just to you know, see how amazing they are compared to just regular ones you buy. Even the artist grade. I have like a lot of artist grade ones too. And oh my God, I'm telling you, this is beautiful. This is a real luxury. So this is hot pink. So I'm going to add a little bit more water here. Load up my brush. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you guys, if you just could feel how they spread on the paper, it's just, oh my gosh, it's just so nice. I love these colors. These here colors I use a lot. Oh, that's hot pink. Another gorgeous color, Margaret. So what now? Ariel. Okay, here's a color I use often. Kind of like a... Uh, turquoise anything in the turquoise family I also like seafoam seafoam is another one I use often so let's see so this is called Ariel they all have this nice little some have more shimmer and some have uh, just like these have a, sh a shimmer to them they just so faint it's just beautiful oh my god now this is a gorgeous color too. Wow. Wow. Holy geez. Don't count how many times I'm saying wow, because I'm sure it's a lot. Margaret, these are gorgeous. I cannot wait to use these color and colors in my work. In my art and all my pictures. And oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm gonna have to get a little special palette for this because uh this is good, but I, I can't um, use it as a palette for mixing. So I'm going to have to find one, especially just for your paints. This is another shimmery one. This is rose red. Rose red is uh, one of my favorite colors because you can do a lot with it. And I um, blend it down to a, a much lighter shade too, but it's just so pretty. Hold up enough. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. That is pretty. It sure fools you, eh? From looking at the pan and what it lays down. Because I thought it would be too dark for me, but oh, that's just perfect. Oh my lord. Gorgeous colors. Can you oh, can you guys just believe it that you have got to try them. They're so beautiful. So beautiful, Margaret. I'm going to have to take a look at the other colors you have. Oh, come on. Oh, boo. Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Why didn't I open these? Okay, this is uh, Toyko Orange. So I don't know if Toyko, is that a toy brand or something? Not sure, but um, got a little bit of something else in here. I don't know what it is. But let's just discover what it is. So this is Toyko Orange. So let's just let the water seep in there a little bit. Get activated. There we go. Oh. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. You know, that could be toned down for like a tan look on a person. On a person. A person drawing. Oh, that is gorgeous. I thought actually it was going to be a real kind of strange orange, but holy man, it's beautiful. 
I, I can't get over the handmade colors. They're, they're just amazing. Like, I don't know if I'd want to even buy regular colors anymore. Huh. Wow. Can I did these, right? Yeah, I did those. Um, beautiful, Margaret. I don't know. I give them like a five out of five. They're absolutely stunning, stunning colors. Stunning colors. Oh my God. Like, they are just so beautiful. So beautiful. I'm just going to take the, um, let me move this, my coffee cup out of the shadow. I'm going to just uh, take down my phone and see if I can get a close up on these here for you as all. Well, as long as I don't touch a button and shut it off like last time. Okay. Look at this. These are truly truly stunning they're so rich and you know i didn't add much water to dilute them but you know they they go down to a, a beautiful transparency if you want oh my god that to that toy do you say toyko oranges that's beautiful it's like a peachy orange it's gorgeous the rose red look at all the twinkly in there so beautiful. And then there, now you can see that uh, luminous flesh, how pretty it is. And though that tr Trolls Fur and Toadstool are very nice uh, colors for nature and the wilderness. And the gold, gold rush I'll be using for highlighting. Oh my God, like I am just so blown away by this. It's just not even funny. So I'm just going to grab, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I just um, just put a little face down, uh, the outline of starting one of my little women here. But see, you can see the sparkle in it and the luminous flesh. And look at that's the cobalt turquoise deep, cobalt turquoise deep that I used for the hair. Oh, I just love it. Oh my God, I'm going to go through these paints fast. I know it. But anyways, so anybody who's interested, there she is. That's her information, Margaret. Um, go and check her out. I'll put a link below. Uh, beautiful, beautiful colors, Margaret. I just love, love them. Uh, I'll be a regular customer for sure. Anyways, thanks a lot. Uh, hopefully everybody got a little bit of information out of this and hopefully you'll go over to uh, Xanadu Art Studio and uh, give her a try, even just a couple, just to check it out. You, you'll be amazed. Okay, thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.